the wind and the rain that swept through that part of uh, well, the southern tip of Canada Lake today. Let's check in with James Gilder with more on all that. James? Yeah, Maureen, uh, definitely packing a punch. Uh, you have temperatures that climb into the lower 90s with ample humidity. Uh, the storms had plenty of fuel to work with. Let's take a look at exactly where the storm is and, and of course, the damage that it did. All these blips represent uh, storm reports when people see uh, damage just like that photo there. Close to Rochester, really the closest there. Much of Monroe County was untouched, just scattered rain showers. But thunderstorm wind damage in Manchester, trees down on mobile homes there. Uh, in Victor, a couple of uh, townhomes had some tree damage as well. Cl across the Finger Lakes, uh, look at uh, closer to Oakland uh, near Nunday. Uh, lightning hit a transformer that caused uh, some power outages. There's uh, over a thousand folks without power right now across the Finger Lakes. So, yeah, these uh, definitely did pack a punch. And we're not out of the woods yet. Here's the next round of storms. You can see the red across Erie, Pennsylvania. This is what we'll keep an eye on. Still a threat for some thunderstorms, especially because we're seeing a little bit of clearing across Niagara County, the frontier here. Uh, could spark up a storm or two that works its way eastward into Genesee Valley. It's about 100 miles away, so we'll keep an eye on the 7 to 10 p.m. time frame for these storms to enter. And that's, guess what, the actual cold front that will move through and help clear skies out for Monday. We did hit 91, no record. I was thinking maybe we'd hit that record of 95, but that didn't happen. 77 degrees right now, and th this is a live camera across Rochester. You can see the clear skies there. That helps fire up the atmosphere yet again, so we'll keep uh, our eyes open for the next chance of some storms, especially in the next few hours here. We'll still deal with clouds overnight. That'll hold temperatures in the lower 70s. It'll be a muggy start to your Monday, but a pretty decent finish. We'll have clearing skies with highs in the middle 80s. Uh, your future cast here indicating there it is, the chance for a shower or storm from the actual cold front. And then we quiet down Monday. I think it's a pretty decent day. A little bit of a breeze out there. Not as warm temperatures in the middle 80s. Tuesday looking pretty good as well. A couple of degrees even cooler than that. But... Uh, Mostly sunny skies. No 90s in the forecast. Uh, next chance for rain, though, going to be Wednesday and Thursday. A large storm system moves through the region, so we'll keep an eye out on those two days there. As we uh, get into Saturday and Sunday, I think we'll deal with a situation where we have a chance for a passing shower or thunderstorm there, but uh, not a washout by any means, Maureen. All right, James, thank you. And thank you, everybody, for joining us today. We will see you right back here for News 8 at 11. Have a great evening.